Hi, Year Six. Um, I hope you're enjoying the theme park week. Um, I hope your theme park is uh, coming on nicely. Uh, you should have sorted out your entrance fee prices yesterday, uh, doing some clever maths, uh, and create a poster as well for your theme park. Okay, so this is what you're going to be doing today. Um, today, it says you will start to create a brochure that will go on your website and be given to customers as they arrive at your park. Okay, um, so we're going to create a brochure, so this should be good fun. You've got quite a bit of time to do this as well. Um, I think we'll be looking at maybe today and tomorrow to create your brochure. So, discussing business ideas, brochure content. Content. What will need to go in your brochure? How should it be written and illustrated? What will a successful brochure do? So, a brochure needs to inform customers and potential and potential customers if they're looking at it on our website. What is available to do while visiting? You need to give details of the rides, attractions, and food outlets in each of your three park areas. Um, in your three park areas, sorry. You need to have an element of persuasion. So you need to um, try and attract them. If potential customers see it on the internet, will they, will they be persuaded to visit? It needs to be bright, colourful, and easy to read. So you can do lots of decorations on it. Uh, that's why we want to give you a couple of days to do this. Uh, your brochure should have at least four pages. It needs a front cover and a page for each themed area of your park. So remember, you've got your front cover and you've got three different areas all with a different theme. Um, so if you look at that front cover there as an example, uh, what's been included on it and what do you notice? Um, and you should notice it's got the theme park name. It's got some alliteration. Um, it introduces some of the new rides, brand new for 2016. It'll be brand new for 2020. Um, it's got a rhetorical question on there um, and it gives you an indication of the target customer, who they're aiming at. So you should know who you're aiming at. Is it families, is it adults, is it younger children? Um, so for your different themed areas, each of your pages should be headed with the names you've chosen for your themed areas. Look at some of these examples. What do you notice? Um, so it's got these guys. Adrenaline World, are you brave enough to visit? Will you ever leave? Kiddies Kingdom, perfect for even the smallest thrill seekers, and the Wicked Wild West. Yeehaw! A world of runaway mine trains, gold rush flumes, and other Wild West fun. Okay, so this is an example of three different themes. Um, so you need to include information about rides and attractions. It says you don't have to give details on every ride or attraction in your theme park, but your brochure pages need to introduce the main incentives for visiting each of your three areas. Think of exciting, intriguing names for some of your main rides and attractions. Do they relate to the themes of your park areas? Can you draw pictures of them? Do you want to introduce a rating system for each ride you discuss? Um, so it's got an example there for a ride called The Rush. Things like, uh, what's it suitable for? Um, what's the thrill factor? So The Rush is a five-star thrill factor. Um, some restrictions do not ride if you suffer with any heart condition. It's obviously like a high high intense thrill seeker ride okay um you might want to give some details about some of your restaurants so for example pizza palace um why not stop for a quick bite to eat while visiting kiddies kingdom try a delicious pepperoni supreme or a tantalizing veggie special at the very reasonably priced pizza palace family deals available lots of persuasive language in there uh, and vocabulary tantalizing uh, things like that. Okay, so you might include some information on that. Um, remember, the whole point of the brochure is to inform customers uh, what is available to do. It needs to give details of rides, attractions, and food outlets in each of the three park areas. And it needs to be persuasive using that persuasive language. You catch people's eyes, be bright, colourful, and easy to read. So you've got today and tomorrow to create that brochure. Be creative with it. Okay. Um, I'm sure they're going to look amazing. And your maths, what we'd like you to do for your maths is you're going to create your food shops and make menus for them. So, for example, if you're making a, a food restaurant like Pizza Palace, um, where you're, what you probably sell there is pizzas. You might sell some other Italian dishes, maybe some spaghetti dishes or something. You have to choose the uh, items on for sale, how much they're going to cost, and um, are you going to have any deals, 
um, and you're going to map out how much will you need to take in a day to cover the cost. So you can make some different menus from different restaurants. Again, have a look online if you type in like menu, uh, restaurant menus, these different styles for that. Um, so you can have like, quite lots of fun with that. So it's lots of um, fun work today, really, making brochure, making menus for your restaurants. Okay, hope you enjoy that. Bye.